we get into the video, I want to announce today's sponsor, Squarespace. No, I'm not relevant enough for sponsorships yet. But I do want to talk about why I've been gone from YouTube. You know, with everything that's going on in the world, I really felt like I had to take a break. With my college, Zoom Academy, starting up again, I thought that I really have to focus on prioritizing my schoolwork, which is why I haven't been posting in a while. No, um, the state of our nation has really been getting crazy with, you know, the election coming up. Um, <laughs> I just don't want to see another political ad. I, I can't. Mm. I can't. My dog's birthday was yesterday. Like, we had to celebrate that. And yeah, you know, YouTube was really getting to No me. one cares. Okay. Um, well, to the true subscribers out there who do care, my mom and my cat, hi guys. Um, I will probably continue taking little breaks like this in the future, but it seems like my body has become addicted to making YouTube videos and it's trying to hold me to it, which is good. Speaking of holds, let's talk about burritos. And by burritos, I mean the food at Chipotle and Cutaba. I know, I know, thank you. Thank you, I, I tried. I tried hard, <laughs> thank you. Growing up, I feel like there's always been this hype to Chipotle. Like, it was like the Starbucks of food. <laughs> After I finish my vanilla frap pumpkin spice latte grande, I just have to get a lettuce wrap burrito bowl from Chipotle. Okay. Okay. Have you never had a lettuce wrap burrito bowl from Chipotle? Um. It'll change your life, Jerry. My name's not Jerry. It'll change your life. So I've never understood the hype for Chipotle, but maybe that's just because I'm not a picky eater. Whenever someone is like, why this is delicious. I think that this might be the best food that I've ever had. <laughs> Don't you think so, Jade? I mean, it, it tastes like food, so... Obviously, if the food is terrible, I can tell, but most times, it ain't all day. But I was also super biased when it came to the whole Chipotle versus Cutaba debate, mostly because I was raised to be Team Cutaba from the beginning. Cutaba is good. Cutaba is fresh. Cutaba is better than Chipotle. Um, I just wanted a Lunchable. Because of the fast food superiority complex. Are Cutaba and Chipotle considered fast food? Okay. Well, because of the superiority complex, my dad and I used to go to Cutaba all the time. And I mean all the time. Well, I mean, we only went there like once a week, but that's a lot for me. It got to the point where this one Cutaba worker would get excited whenever I walked in and would say my order before I could even open my mouth. Steak burrito with white rice, black beans, mild sauce, and cheese? Now this freaked me out. Every time I would go in there and hear her say that, I felt this pressure being added onto me. Every time I would walk in there and see her excited face, I felt like another year was being added onto my life. I felt that she was expecting me to always want that order and knowing that gave her a sense of accomplishment. I started being afraid of going in there because I was scared that if I ever wanted to change my order, she would be heartbroken. Of course, I never actually did want to change my order, but you know, I just felt nervous that she was constantly expecting me to live up to her expectations. Of course, she was probably not that pressed, but you know, brainy likey over thinky. I stopped going there after a while, and I'm pretty sure when I came back, she stopped working there too, so, um, I don't know what to think about that. Over time, my love for Cutaba returned, but not for their delicious steak burritos, no. Mostly because around this time, I became pescatarian, so, uh, no cows for me. No, it was for their delicious quesadillas. Now, the great thing about Cutaba's quesadillas is that you can put anything, and this is important, anything on those quesadillas. <laughs> Hi, so, um, can I get a quesadilla? Yeah, what do you want on it? Rice, beans, salsa, <laughs> queso. I can do that? So cheese, rice, beans, and mild salsa became my go-to Cutaba quesadilla order. And even though I mostly ordered this at Cutaba, I assumed that Chipotle would let me do the same thing. On April 22nd, 2019, my friend and I went to the Chipotle that was right near our work, fully expecting that I would be able to get the same delicious quesadilla that I always got from Cutaba. 
but instead of a delicious quesadilla, I ended up getting the weirdest interaction that I've ever had with a fast food worker, and hopefully ever will. Hi, so can I get a quesadilla? <laughs> okay, so what do you want on it? Uh, well, queso. <laughs> Um, black beans, rice, and salsa. If you order all those things, it would be considered a burrito. So I can't put that on the quesadilla? If you order all those things, it would be considered a burrito. Okay, so can I just make it a burrito? Okay, so what do you want on it? Um, cheese, rice, and... Okay. So what do you want to order? I thought that I just... No, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to her. She ended up giving me the saddest, ugliest little quesadilla that I have ever seen. Like, it was just rice and cheese. Who wants a quesadilla with just rice and cheese? How does that make any sense? And since it was technically considered a burrito now, I had to pay extra. So, um... Basically, I was robbed. After that day, I never ordered a quesadilla from Chipotle again because I'm terrified. Instead, I just stuck with their actual vegetarian burritos. Now, their burritos are pretty good, but with what I order, it can be a hit or miss sometimes. Can you guys guess what my burrito order is? That's right! White rice, cheese, black beans, and mild salsa! I'm so adventurous. The first few times I got my burrito order, they were great. So I don't know if the workers got new training or what, cause at some point those burritos got whack. Now it's no secret that unlike Cutaba, Chipato is very stingy with their ingredients. If they can get away with giving you a single piece of chicken, they will. But there are two things that in my experience they are never stingy with rice and cheese. Like I said, before they would always give me a reasonable amount of cheese. So I don't know if they just wanted to make up for the wimpiness of my burritos or if they were just told to get rid of as much cheese as possible. But at some point, they just started putting a mountain of cheese in my burrito. Like when I would eat it, I would only taste cheese. I could literally feel myself growing lactose intolerant as I ate it, it was not good. So I just had to learn how to be super specific when ordering my burritos. Yeah, um, rice, beans, salsa, and a little bit of cheese. But even when I'd say this, they would still put a lot of cheese on my burrito, but at least this time it would be digestible. Overall, I would say that I like Cutaba for their quesadillas and non-stinginess, and I like Chipotle for their burritos when they don't decide to stuff me with cheese like a turkey on Thanksgiving. Actually do. I mean, I don't eat turkey, so I don't care. I want to point out that that weird Chipotle worker was the only weird Chipotle worker that I've ever met. All the other workers were fine. Normal. I also feel like Chipotle bought Cutaba. I'm not sure if this is true, but I feel like I heard that a few years back. I did a quick Google search about it, but the results were kind of confusing, and I also discovered that I uh, don't care. So, yeah. I hope that this was somewhat interesting or entertaining. I don't know how many people will be interested in Cutaba and Chipotle enough to look up a video about it or if this will be what they expected, but I had fun talking about it, so. Um, the moral of the story is don't get stuffed with cheese like a turkey on Thanksgiving at Chipotle. Anyway, bye.